Okay, if you're listening out there in Radio Land, we're going to add 31 to our homework. And notice they just give me a table of values right there. So what I want to do is turn my calculator on. Let's do second plus 712 and reset everything. It'll say RAM cleared. And then push that stat button. And in staff, you'll notice you got edit, calculate, and test, so we won't edit. And so for this first column, let's just enter the X values. So this would be just go start at negative 7 and go all the way down to 0. And then move over to the Y column. look like that and it'd really be nice if we had a quadratic so push stat again then go to calculate and so once we get on calculate we want quadratic regression number five so push five and here we are with our two lists list one and list two and come down here to store regression and push the key that says VARS. It's right there. It says VARS. So push it. There's VARS. Then move over to YVARS and hit enter on that. And then function Y1. It'll already be there. And this will stick Y1 right there. So not only are we about we are just about to find the quadratic equation, but we're also telling the calculator, please store the regression equation in Y1, so we won't have to type this into Y equals. It'll go there on its own, calculate it. Now notice we have some crazy, we have some somewhat crazy five decimals right there. Well, we really don't care too much. Look at y equals. They jumped in there too. And then I can just hit graph. So it appears as though right about negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, right about negative 2 and negative 5. I'm intersecting right here. Okay. So that's okay with me. Go over to y equals and come down here and just put zero right there. And then let's make it a heavy line. And let's push graph again. <clears throat> and now if I do second trace five, enter, 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 it should find me these two right here. Okay, so let's try it. Let's do second trace five. Enter, enter, enter. And notice we weren't exactly at negative 3, but we were pretty close. And I could move over here to this one if I wanted. I was pretty close to negative 6, too. So that would work. So there's number 31. Uh, on it, they wanted to use the tables to determine the locations of the zeros. Well, we pretty much determined the locations close to negative 3 and close to negative 6. And to just use the table by itself, <coughs> if x is negative 3, we sort of, we have turned around right here because I was positive and all of a sudden I'm going negative. Uh, obviously, right here, I crossed over. I crossed the x-axis. And I also crossed it over here. Because I'm negative, I'm negative, I'm, I'm negative, I'm negative, I'm negative. But between these two, I jumped to positive. So I crossed over right there. And I crossed the x-axis right here. Determine the location. Well, we actually graphed the thing, and notice that is inside of negative 6, and this one is negative 3.
between negative 3 and negative 4. Look, we crossed. These were all negative. I crossed over. Well, of course I did. Look. I went from negative y's to positive y's and from negative y's to positive y's. Right about those two numbers. Okay, so there we go on that one. That should be enough for me. There's only five minutes and we'll be back.